know, we are in a very difficult time. The lockdown imposed by the government to many of the major cities will make the lives of many people difficult and it would really stress business. In fact, today, naririnig ko marami ng nakawan all over the cities na nag-lockdown kasi nga maraming arawan ang trabaho. So every day na wala silang trabaho, how will they provide for their families? However, I really believe also na tama ang ginawa ng gobyerno. Alam mo, we can say say ang mga negosyo, magbabankra pag gawin natin to pero anong negosyo kung patay naman lahat ng tao? So ako, I'd like to encourage everybody to support the government. And I really believe they are they have done this to take care of all of that, all of us. In an earlier blog, sabi ko na one of my mindset as I manage my business is I always tell myself calamities will come. However, I also told you that calamities are not necessarily bad, because if we respond to them properly, we can use it to our advantage and even prosper. In the middle of a calamity, and especially when it improves, when things improve. Sabi ko in my last blog that I used the story of Isaac and how he survived severe calamity, severe famine in managing my business. You know, sabi ko sa inyo in my last blog that Isaac stayed in the land of in the land of great famine and worked hard even though. He was being oppressed by his neighbors. In this blog, what I'd like to do is to share with you what we have learned from that story of Isaac in more detail, and I'd like to to share with you how we are now managing our business, even through the lockdown that the government has implemented. Let me share with you how our business has been affected. We grow hogs from Monterey. And kasasabi lang nila na there's no movement of hogs for the next one month, and that would really be a problem, because the hogs, the hogs in our farm will now, will now grow bigger. We have to feed them more. Yung payment sa amin, ah, yung I don't know if you understand livestock feed conversion will, will will drop. A feed conversion ratio will become bad, and mas matagal namin sa alagaan, mas matagal kami mong babayaran. So just, just it just complicates the business. On our vegetable business, naman, ang nangyare because sarado lahat ng mall, nagsara mga restaurants, people were asked to stay in their homes. So na wala yung negosyo namin, na bibentahan namin ang gulay. So what do we do now? Let me share with you a a what happened in our meeting last Monday with my people in Moraya Farms and Similia Foundation, kung ano ang pinag-usapan namin. I brought all of them together kasi may mga bago akong tao na who just joined the organization. So, hindi nila paalam yung style namin in responding to calamities. In that meeting, I told them three things. Sabi ko sa kanila, every problem creates new opportunities. And then sabi ko sa kanila that the bad situation we are in will someday turn to good. So we need to survive the crisis that we are going that we are going through, so that we can be ready when the situation improves. And then I told them, in the time of crisis, it is time. It is we should use it to strengthen our weaknesses. Let me explain what I told them. Sabi ko sa kanya. This calamity is just like any problem, pero lang in a in a bigger scale. And I told them that every problem creates opportunities, and we just have to find them. You know, most businesses when they make plans for their business, they look for big opportunities, big market, kasi mas mabilis yung return yane. However, during times of calamities, during times of calamities, mawawala yung malalaking market, okay? Especially when companies close. So ang tanong ko, where are the where are the opportunities today? 
Sabi ng tao ko, the two of our biggest competitors have closed because ang market nila was Manila and Cebu. Unfortunately, Manila and Cebu closed their doors to to uh, produce coming from outside the region to protect them from the coronavirus. So, ano mangyayari? Sila, nagsara sila. Ako, buhay pa ako. Bakit ako buhay? Because there was something I learned from an experience in McDonald's. In 2002 to 2010, we were, we were the biggest lettuce supplier of McDonald's for the whole country. But all of a sudden, in 2010, nawala yan. They just decided one day not to buy from us anymore. Can you imagine? Yun ang ganda ng negosyo ko nun. Isang kliyente, isang produkto. And life was very good. It, however, that was also one of the incidents that made me realize that abundance will not last forever because calamities will come. When they stop buying, can you imagine? Ang tanong ko, anong gagawin ko sa dami kong tao? In fact, I contemplated on closing the farm. Kasi walang ganong kalaking market ang lettuce. McDonald's is still the biggest lettuce supply user in the country. However, because I'm a steward for the Lord, inisip ko, sayang naman tong natutunan namin. Sayang yung skills na develop namin. What can I do? Do you know what I you know what I did? I copied the model of Australia. Australia has a big export business. However, what was impress what's impressive about them nung pumunta ako, everybody they ha also have a very vibrant local market that everybody would eat their produce. So sabi ko sa sarili ko, I maybe I should feed my neighbors. Kaso lang they will not eat iceberg lettuce lang. So over time, ginamit ko yung skills na natutunan namin, na developed namin when we were growing lettuce for McDonald's to experiment on other crops. Today, we grow Japanese cucumber, we grow pak choy, we grow kale, we grow sugar beet out of that market na na-create namin. And today, yun na naman ginawa namin. Yung, yung other product ko, we're going to restaurants and traders who would resell. When the lockdown happened, I asked my people, what opportunity is this creating? You know, people cannot leave their homes anymore. Now we have to deliver. We were, create, we were able to create a market today by delivering to the homes. Do you know what's nice about that market? They pay cash and retail price, not trader price anymore. So we found an opportunity in the time of great calamity. The other thing I told my people, was sabi ko sa kanila, I explained again to them that everything in life grows to a cycle of peaks and valleys, of boom and bass. And sabi ko sa kanila, while we, while we may be in a very deep valley today, good times will come again. So sabi ko sa kanila, we need to find a way to survive and prepare for the abundance that is coming. So today, lahat ng tao sa, farm, sa, sa, sa negosyo namin, sa farm namin, are all survival mode. They were trying to find ways to uh, bring, down, uh, bring down our expense, look for opportunities that we can serve so that we will have the income to survive this calamity. When, the crisis, when a crisis would come, many business will close. So today I am investing in creating capability. Bucket, Because these businesses will create a vacuum in the market. As they close, diba, sabi ko sa inyo, diba? I was told two of our bigger, biggest competitor closed. And I am now trying to see that when things turn around, when the abundance start to come, can I fill in for that vacuum? So we're now also in investment mode while we are, all, while we are in the survival mode. 
And the last thing I want you to know is that like any problem, calamities will just expose your weaknesses. So, inisip ko, today is a time to strengthen our weaknesses. Alam mo, when times are good, most of the time, yung mga weaknesses mo, napapabayaan mo yan. Because there are other priorities and there are more important things to do. So, ngayon na mas marami kaming oras, sabi ko sa team ko, we better check our weaknesses. We need to use our spare time and our people. Swelduhan pa rin natin sila because we will now we will now strengthen our weaknesses. We will do today what we what we cannot do during times of abundance. Calamity is not a time to die. Calamity is a time to learn and become better, to prepare for the cycle of life. When the abundance will come again. However, as I end this video, I want you to understand that the best way to take advantage of calamities is to prepare for it during times of prosperity. In a future blog, I will share with you naman what I learned from Joseph. Kung anong ginawa niya during times of abundance so that he was really, really ready for times of famine. And in that time of famine, he made it the greatest nation, the richest nation of his time, even richer. That they would even control a region, not because of their military might, but because of the, the, because of the food they've saved. And I wish I could help you do the same for your business as well. Will you subscribe to the channel if you like what you've heard? But again, ulitin ko, don't stop there. Share this with other friends. Para matulungan natin sila. Because I believe collectively, when all of us know how to take advantage of calamity, we can build a better nation for our children and their children's children. So I'll see you in the next vlog.